Hello all, Shoestring here. Shoestring does inexpensive and easy items. I look at and review and show you what I use. What I found this time is a charge controller, but it's an easy inline charge controller. It's an MPPT and it's from Bateria Power. I hope that's pronounced right. This is the box it came in. It says it's an MPPT charge controller. It says it's, uh, all right, different battery types. It is gel, AGM, lithium, and we're going to take a look at it. Let's open up the box, see what we have. There is the charge controller. A couple items to go with it. These are nice can use them if you don't have the SAE connections, which this one comes with, I'm told. Here's the manual. I'd like to every, give everyone a quick look at the manual. It's in English. That's nice. And gives you a basic idea of what it can do. Let's go ahead and take it out of the package, see what we have. I wanted to look at this one specifically because it is small. It's in line. And what I mean by easy is, as you know, with regular charge controllers, you have to pick out the correct size wire. You have to unscrew and put the wires in and screw it in. Normally, you take these charge controllers and you have to connect all the different wires just in the right place. You have to make sure you have the right size wires. You have to wire them in and you have to program it lot more complicated than this little one right here. Well, this charge controller, as I said, is in line. You don't have to do any of that. Give you a look at it. Here's the front. It says 25, 50, 75, 100. So it gives you the type, how much state of charge. Gel, AGM, and lithium. Unfortunately, it doesn't do wet lead acid. A lot of my viewers still use wet lead acid, so that's one downside. It does tell you what voltages it will take from other types of batteries, such as gel, AGM, right in there. Now, this is a 10 amp. So, 10 amp means don't use more than a 150 watt solar panel. I won't use more than 100 because I don't like to stress out my equipment except when I'm testing things. Okay, so now it's open. We have a couple of icons, kind of hard to see. Let's take a quick look. Looks like it says the sun for the solar panel right there. Hopefully you can see that. It is difficult to see. Then over here it has, looks like plus for the battery. Let's take out the manual real quick and have a look. Make sure we do these right. You don't want to mess them up. So, yes, as we thought right there, solar panel on this end and battery on that end. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and connect it. We always want to do the battery first. So I just, I like this one because I have SAE connections. Oh, by the way, if you don't, you can get an accessory package from them where you can take your SAE connections and use them with a standard MC4 connectors, just like you see on most standard solar panels. And it can easily connect to any solar panel you may have. I'll also put a link to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to connect this side to the battery because that's what it said. These together, they're SAEs. I like them because they're easy. We're simply going to take it and connect it together. And connect it. Alligator clamps, real easy. Now I'm using a gel battery here. So we're going to do the positive. Then we're going to do the negative. And there goes the charge controller. Okay, you can see it's running through. Right there, everything lit up. It says 12.5 volts. 
no amps coming in, of course, because it's not connected to the solar panel. And it does say gel. That's what we're using. A gel battery, 12 volt. Okay. Now, it's real simple according to the instructions. If you use this button here and hold it down, you can maneuver through the different types of batteries. If you're going to do gel, AGM, lead sealed, or lithium. But we're just going to push it. Here it tells you the temperature of the charge controller. 28 Celsius, 82 Fahrenheit. We live in Florida, so it gets warm. No errors. And we're back at 12.6 and 0 amps. Now, let's go ahead and take this and connect it to the solar panel. I have a solar panel right out there, and we're going to take it, same thing, SAE connection, and we're going to connect it up. Okay, so we have 13 point now. It's now saying that it's connected to the Solar panel, I try to keep my batteries all the way charged up. And it's blinking because it is just about topped off. It's only bringing in 1.1 amp. But as you can see, it's all working very well. I didn't have to go through the wires. I didn't have to connect them like you do with a normal charge controller. I didn't do have to do any of that. And now this, of course, has many of the protections that you expect to find overcharged, undercharged, all this other type of good things. I'll have it up on the screen right there so you can see. It has many protections to put your battery and your charge controller. Now, I'll put a description of this down in the uh, description. Now, let's do full disclosure. If you click on this in the descri description and you purchase it, I do get a little bit of money from Amazon. And that just helps the channel. But I wanted you to know that there, I do get something for doing this. So, what's our little roundup here? Well, the charge controller is working. All you have to do is press it. And it will tell you what where you're at. Zero errors. I like zero errors. See how nicely it lights up? The connections are really easy. And I like how mobile this is. You can take this. Take it apart and just put it in your pocket. Put it in your glove box. Easy to move around if you need 10 amp MPP heat charge controller. Like I said, if you have any questions, put it down. If you like these kind of videos, please like, subscribe, share, and hit the little notification bell. Shoestring out.